I just wanted to get on here really quick and let you guys know ahead of time that I, when I was recording this video, I had some of the settings wrong on my microphone and it recorded really loud. And so I did the best I possibly could to actually fix the audio in this video, but it, there's still some distortion and there's still some things that are wonky about it. So I apologize. I did the best that I possibly could. There's no way that I can actually reshoot this video because it's just you know, opening a package and reading off the seeds with my excitement and sharing that with you guys. So there's really no way to reduplicate that. So I went ahead and edited, edit, edited the video the best that I possibly could. And I'm just gonna share that with you guys. I hope you're able to get over this distorted audio in this video and let me know if you can't and I can maybe figure out a different way of shooting the video uh, so you can still at least get the seeds and things like that that I actually ended up purchasing. It'll just be different. It won't be a seed opening. It'll be something else. So anyways, on with the video. I apologize again for the audio. Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Today is the day that I am going to open up our seed order. We have a gargantuan seed order from Emma Gardener. We got this one here, quite a lot of seeds. And we also have this one from Baker Creek. And this one is a pretty good size one as well. And so we're gonna go ahead and open these on here. I have spent a good amount of time this week watching and ooging and awing over everybody else's seed order video. So I thought that it would be pretty fun to go ahead and share this with you guys. And cause there is quite a bit of seeds, so it should be a lot of fun. And so let's just go ahead and get, get to it. If you guys are kind of new to my channel, um, I have a, a new homestead. This is our first year in our homestead. We moved in here in about, I think September, October or something like that, maybe even November. And so we, there's no garden, there's no infrastructure, there's nothing. It was basic, it was, it's basically a home on five acres that's wooded and treed with a little bit of clearing in the back. And so right now our plan, even for our garden is ever changing. So I have no idea what's gonna happen with that. And we're just waiting for the process of actually being able to log a good chunk of the property. We're not gonna log all of it. At least we hope not to have to log all of it. But so anyways, this is our first year. And so I am pretty new to all of this. We've had container garden gardens in the past, but nothing of a huge substance and nothing that was um, really much of anything to really speak about. We learned a few lessons and that's about it. So we're pretty new gardeners. And so um, I am naive enough and excited enough that I ordered all of these seeds, but I'm not dumb enough to think that I can actually plant all these. I wish I could, but I know that I'm not gonna be able to. So I'm gonna plant as many as humanly possible and those will be in some of the upcoming videos, but we're not gonna get through all of these this year. <laughs> I just couldn't say no, so I didn't. And um, my, my husband indulged me and let me order them. So <laughs> that's what we did. We're gonna go ahead and bust into the MI Gardener one first. I'm gonna show you all of the awesomeness that we got from this. And I only just recently even learned about MI Gardener as far as having seeds. I have watched these videos for a long time, not a, a ton of them, but I really like them. And, but I'd never actually checked out his website. And then Anna from Minzy's Garden was telling me about it because I was telling her that I just could not windle down my Baker Creek collection selection. And so she's like, well, why don't you check out in my gardener? His seeds are only 99 cents. And they're only 99 cents. Like all of them are only 99 cents. So I went crazy. I had a ridiculous amount of uh, seeds picked out from Baker Creek. And then as soon as she told me about Am I Gardener, um, I, even more, <laughs> I got way more, but it ended up costing me less in the end because they're only 99 cents. We're gonna get to this and I'm gonna show you all the awesomeness that we got. So, you ready? How do we do this? <laughs> How am I even gonna get this out of the envelope? There's so many in here. Whoa, kindly packed by Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Okay, <laughs> see what I mean? It's just, it's like, wow. All right, let me see. I can't even remember how many I ordered. I was over a hundred. Yeah. I accidentally ordered three of one because I, I noticed that I had two on there and I thought I deleted it, but I actually just added another one. And they even highlighted it on there, I think, just to make sure that they didn't miss it. Or just to be like, hey, you screwed up. You actually ordered three. I didn't send you three. 129. I ordered 129 seed packs from my Gardener. So, are you guys ready for this? 
Okay, so I'm gonna pause this video for a second. I'm gonna organize them based on type and then we're gonna continue, okay? So we're gonna go through this the my gardener portion, shall we? I'm gonna try and do this fast enough to where it doesn't get boring, but I mean, if you like gardening, it's probably not gonna get boring no matter what. So we have American flag leak. I'm gonna try and get this to where it doesn't, I'm gonna try and get this to where it will actually focus, but I'm not gonna take that much time to try. Okay, so American flag leak. Okay, I need to have a way to set this up. How are we gonna do this? There we go, okay. Ruby red onion. The onions, are, I'm gonna plant probably this coming weekend. Um, Alyssa Craig onion. We have, uh, we're into the herbs and herbs and flowers are next. We have anise, it just says anise, it doesn't say a variety. And then hyssop. Chamomile. And I'll keep falling down. Caraway. I like a lot of spices and stuff like that. So the idea of being able to grow some of my own is really cool. And then there's the bouquet dill. Cumin. Nasturtiums. I thought I had a bunch of nasturtiums. I saved my nasturtium seeds one year and I had a huge envelope of them and neither my husband or I could find them. I have no idea what happened to them. So we got, got the jewel mix of the nasturtium. Some lemon mint. I'm not a huge fan of mint, but I want to be. So I try it and we'll see how it goes. And then marshmallow. I'm really excited about growing marshmallow root. I just think, and I know it has a ton of, of um, like herbal benefits and things like that. So I'm really excited about that. And then chicory, fenugreek, same thing, just a lot of uh, benefits. And of course I had to grow, I got two types of Milkweed, gotta, gotta make sure that those butterflies are well fed. And then we got some marigold. I have a few, few I have one type of marigold, so I just wanted to have another type. Kohlrabi, the white kohlrabi. And some fennel. Marshmallow, another one. I think that must have just been a mistake because I only ordered one. Lavender. I love, love, love lavender. And then some bee balm. I hope these are focusing for you guys. I'm, I'm gonna feel terrible if they're not. Okay, so we're done with the herbs and the flowers. And now, we move on. Oh, no, nope, there's more. Okay, there's three more. These ones are just the basil. Um, I don't personally like basil. I want to like it, but I don't. I think that it smells and tastes like VO. It's terrible. I wish I liked it, but I don't. I'm really trying to, so that's why I ordered three different types, hoping that maybe I'll like one of them. So I think this is the typical kind of basil. This is just the Geno Genovese, Genovese, whatever. Uh, just the normal kind. And then holy basil, and then Thai basil. My dad grows Thai basil. I'm hoping that I like it. We'll see. All right, so now we're on to the beans. And I ordered a bunch of ones that are, that are kind of for canning as well as fermenting and then also some that we can let grow on the vine and actually let it go to um, dry beans. So we got Contender. I'm going to try and go fast through these. Uh, whatever that one is, Finda, Finda Bang, Bangnal, Bang, and then Trop, Top Crop, Blue, Blue Lake Whole Bean. And I had ordered these before I had got uh, the wonderful uh, packages that that I got a little bit ago. And so there's gonna, there are some repeats on these. Um, so jade bean, but that just means that I can bless somebody else with it, with these ones that I just bought. And then uh, strike bean and mayflower. These ones are all pink and pretty. So of course I had to order them. Painted pony, look at those, those are gorgeous. Navy bean. These ones are the only ones that I'm aware of that are GAPS friendly. So I am at some point going to end up going back on GAPS for a little while just to see if it helps maybe a little bit of time and see if it does better. So I wanted to make sure that I have lots of navy growing. And then a rattlesnake bean. 
Christmas lima. My sister is telling me that I have to grow a lima bean, so I picked one. And then Midnight Black Turtle. I don't remember ordering that. <laughs> Maybe I did. Okay, Purple Hull Bean. Here we go. This one is just obviously because it's purple, so I ordered it. And then Kentucky Wonder. And Landreth. I've not grown any of these. I uh, This is not one of those, like, I grew this and you should grow it Two things. This is, I had a mouse and a keyboard and, um, and I don't know what I'm doing, so I ordered a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I hope you guys understand my stupidity. Okay, so we are on to other stuff. Cauliflower, I ordered this one. It's purple, so I ordered it. And this one is the snowflower cauliflower. Snowball, snowball cauliflower. So I ordered that one. I'm getting the lens, you can see. Napa cabbage, because I'm super excited. I want to make uh, kimchi, so I got the napa cabbage. That's the only kind of cabbage I bought, I think. Pretty sure that's it, but because I do have some cauliflower already. And then this one, the Royal Chant Chantonay? Royal Chantonay, let's go with that. I I got a different type of carrot also from Baker Creek, and so I'm pretty excited about, um, I got the ones that are kind of the shorter varieties, not the ones that are the huge long roots, because this is my first year with the garden, and I don't know how dense or loose my soil is gonna be, so I wanna make sure that I have at least, give myself some, um, potential or hope of success of growing some carrots. So I got the shorter ones that are just not gonna, you know, go all crazy. And then everybody on all of the live chats and things that I'm on, I have been going on and on and on about um, okra. I don't think I'm gonna be able to grow okra, at least not outside of a greenhouse, but I got two different varieties because I wanna try it. And I probably won't like it. I'm a very much a texture kind of person. And so if it is as slimy as some people tell me it is, I'm not gonna like it. But I'm gonna, willing to give it a try at least. I figure if I'm gonna try it, I may as well try it homegrown. Just um, give it the best chance that I'll actually like it. So <laughs> there you go. Okay, so root crops. Now uh, American Purple Top Rutabaga. And Purple Top White Globe. I think the reasons why I ordered those are obvious because they're purple. And then a golden ball turnip, just because it's a normal one. Daikon radish, again, because I want to make kimchi. A lady slipper radish. Cherry bell radish. I think we're getting on a groove here. Purple plum radish. White icicle radish. All right, on to the peppers. Okay, so Hungarian yellow hot wax pepper. I don't like sweet peppers. My husband does, I can't stand them. I, I, I wish I did, I try to often. I, I do throw them into things every once in a while. It's a texture and a taste thing. I just don't like it and I wish I did, but I don't. So I, I like hot peppers big time. The hotter the better for the most part. Okay, so Big Jim hot pepper and Ancho Grande hot. And then we got a sweet pepper for Robert, a chocolate beauty and Serrano. That's a hot one. Anaheim pepper, that's a hot one. Jalapeno, that's a hot one. Okay. I have to, excuse me, if I'm looking at the screen over here, I'm just trying to make sure that they focus at least to the best of the ability of that tiny little screen at any rate. Okay, so I'm trying to wade through here and just get the melons. Okay, we got melons. So we have Golden Midget. Isn't that one look awesome? And then a Prescott Fond Blanc. It just looks kind of cool. Uh, Kazaa Melon. Sugar Baby Watermelon. Never had any success from watermelon. We're gonna give it a try and see if we can do it. Uh, banana Melon. Minnesota Minute Midget Cantaloupe. Canary Yellow. And a hot Ogin Melon. How, 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 okay. Now, and as you can sure you figured out, I'm saving the best for last. We're doing tomatoes last. Now we're on to squash, both summer and winter, not discriminating here. Okay, so we got the Jardale pumpkin. Again, if anybody wants some Jardale pumpkin, let me know. I got three packs of it. And then sugar pie pumpkin, I already have that. That one was from um, even the Sparrow Homestead, but it was already on the order, so I got it. And then I've had these, actually these seeds for a while now, 
think over, over a week. I think I picked them up over a week ago. I just was waiting until I could actually unbox it with you and share my excitement and joy with you guys. And this was the earliest time that I had to actually do anything. And then uh, spaghetti squash. Uh, that one Mimsy gave me, I believe, but we got another one. And then sweet meat winter squash. I, Robert and I are both excited about growing kind of the more calorically dense ones. And a big part of our garden plan is going to be feeding animals with it. So we wanted to make sure that, that I got uh, a lot of uh, squashes and just things like that that are gonna be a little bit more oomph, a little more bang for your buck, a little more return. Um, on some of them. And then we got Howden Pumpkin. Uh, this strangely pronounced one, let me try. Rouge, Rouge Diff, Rouge Viff, weird. Rouge, uh, Cinderella, it says Cinderella at the end. We're just gonna call it Cinderella and be good. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Gray Summer Squash, this is zucchini. Jumbo Pink Banana. These things were huge. I don't even remember, I saw them on the Baker Creek website, I had this in my cart, so I switched over to this one to in my gardener, which I did with a lot of them. But they were gargantuan, 40 pounds. I can grow up to 40 pounds and 30 inches long. Oh my gosh. All right, so sweet dumpling. Uh, Blue Hubbard. My husband had tried this one. It looks way different than the one that we tried. It was like a weird, oblong, funky, almost a teardrop-ish kind of shape. He didn't like it. So I'm hoping that this one he will like since it's homegrown. Maybe he just had one that was just not good. He likes the ones that are super sweet. And I don't really eat squash a whole lot, but I'm hoping that I will be able to. It's kind of a, a healing issue. So once I'm actually able to heal enough to consume them, I plan to. And then, uh, but I like the ones that are less sweet because I don't like sugar. And then Connecticut pumpkin, field pumpkin. We got the Table King Blue, Table King Bush Acorn Winter Squash. Okay. And then we have a Buttercup Squash. I'm, I'm told, I was watching, I can't remember exactly who it was. I want to say it was Little, no, I'm not going to say who it was. But I was watching somebody's and they were having issues with the long-term lasting of this one. And so, as she said, that the, the little spot at the bottom had... Um, just kind of allowed it to mold a little bit quicker than the other ones. So you're gonna have to watch that one. And then the gold, gold Hubbard winter squash. There we go. All right, so we are done with that type. And then we have the Mexican sour gherkin, the cucumelon, and then a lemon cucumber. I wanted to put this in my cart at um, Baker Creek, but I, it was one of the ones that I'd eliminated and then I saw it on my gardener. So I was like, oh, getting that one again. And then the Be It Alpha, which of course I got because um, the Stivers Homestead suggested it. I don't actually need any. That's why I only got one, <laughs> well, two. I have a ton of pickling cucumbers. My dad gave me a bunch last year that I never actually was able to grow much of. So anyways, all right, I'm gonna check something real quick. Be right back. Okay. So we're on to the good one. Okay, so I got purple tamatillo. I think that might've been a duplicate, but it was already in my cart. So, and it's not like I'm not gonna grow a bunch of those because they are bee factories. Uh, tomato, tomatillos are amazing, tomatillos, whatever. Okay, so we're on to the tomatoes. We have the I want so much to be able to pronounce this. Um, Wapsip, Wapsipinicum peach. <laughs> We're just gonna go with that. Brandywine pink. Paul Robeson. Uh, this one comes very highly recommended uh, from pretty much everybody's seed haul that I've watched. They all pretty much got the Paul Robeson and, and swear by it and say it's amazing. And then Brandywine, we're just big fans of Brandywine. We only had the regular kind of Brandywine, I believe the red one, but um, so I ordered all of the other ones. Oh, yeah, Paul Robeson. Silvery Fir Tree. Brandywine Red, the regular one that we're used to. Mariglobe Tomato. And then Quadro Tomato. Gobstopper. Orange Current. I'm trying to go as fast as I possibly can, but I mean, if you just want to hear the names of them, you can always go on like 1.5 or 1.25 speed. And then, but yeah, so anyways, Hillbilly Tomato, 
Bonnie Best, that one's a repeat. I have that one already. Sweetie Tomato. I think the Bonnie Best, I think that, that was, I think that was um, Anna. And then Pink Ox Heart. Abe Lincoln. Black from Tula. Pineapple. Japanese Black Trifle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Green Zebra. Chocolate Stripes. I'm trying to cover up my face with it so it'll actually focus on it. If I don't, I apologize. <sighs> Az Azoichka? Az Az Azoichka? Tomato? Sun Globe. Okay. Cherokee Purple. Timed out, sorry. So this is at least a half an hour video. I'm going to try and cut some of it out. Okay, so Brandywine Yellow. I don't know if I saw that one. So you saw that one. Great White Tomato. It's green, but it's Great White. Black Cherry. Brandywine Black. Amana Tomato. Tartman's Gold Gooseberry. Okay. Red Centiflor. There we go. Sheboygan Tomato from Sheboygan. All right. Uh, Ukrainian Purple Tomato. Marion Tomato. Feder Federal Tomato. Old German Tomato. Gold Nugget. Black Sea Man. Black Sea Man. And White Cherry. It's yellow. Why does it say white? Okay. Uh, Tess's Land Race Current. I haven't had much luck with current tomatoes. I hope I do this year. Boxcar Willy. Big Red Tomato. And Opalka. So when I went to pick up the seed order, I actually ended up getting this box from Bedford, New York. I have no idea who it is, but we're going to find out um, what's in here. I haven't opened it yet. I've been a good kid and I haven't opened it because I wanted to share it with you guys because I have no idea what it is. It doesn't say a name on it. It just has an address. I'm going to try not to reveal the address because I don't know who it is. Okay. So let's see what's in this box. Got a note. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think it says it's from. I'm having a hard time reading it. I think it's from Charlie. I think. Okay. So, one of them. <laughs> This is so funny. One of the videos upcoming, I cut up a bunch of jalapenos, or one of the ones I already did, and I said I don't have any gloves, but I got this before I even posted the video, so that is completely beyond hilarious latex gloves. They're small. Hopefully, they'll fit me. Let's find out. Oh, perfect. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. All right. So I have gloves for the next time that I'm cutting up jalapenos. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I wish I could read this handwriting. I think it says Charlie. I apologize if I got that wrong. Uh, it doesn't say any clear written on the box, so I'm, I'm unsure. So <laughs> I got gloves to work in my garden. Uh, it says new to the channel. Find it very inspiring and plan to start my own garden from an orchard this spring. That is so exciting. I'm so happy for you. Uh, hopefully these tools will come in handy in your garden and homesteading adventure. This is so cool. Thank you so much. That's so thoughtful. And then another one is a rain catchment thing. <laughs> Tell me how much it's rained in Washington. So thank you so much. That is the kindest thing. Okay, so we're going to take off the glove. Woo! All right. So... <laughs> Thank you again. That's so thoughtful. All right. So now we're going to move on to the Baker Creek one. Okay. I didn't order quite as many from Baker Creek for obvious reasons. They're a little more expensive and it's a little more challenging to go hog wild from Baker Creek, but you still can because they have, they have more of a variety. So each, each place has their purpose and each place has their benefits. So the Baker Creek one. This is the Baker Creek one. How many is on here? 
66. I ordered 66 seeds, seeds from Baker Creek. So, and you also have to remember that I have a very, very small seed collection. I think I showed it in a previous video, but I'm not entirely sure. No, I think I didn't actually end up doing that video. So I have, I'll show you my seed collection. It's pretty small and it's also very, very old. And so I think it was just time to revamp it. Okay, so let's try and get this one. Sorted here. So I, the ones that I ordered from Baker Creek were the ones that I really wanted that I could not get from, um, from MI Gardener. It was pretty much the criteria. It doesn't take, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to get me to buy seeds, as you can see. Like, you offer something that's pretty that I want and I, I, I will figure out a way to, to talk my husband into letting me get it. Okay, so I have all of the Baker Creek ones organized. Start out with the free ones. I got two types of lettuce. Uh, Maribel des Quatri Seasons. I don't freaking know how to pronounce that. That's crazy. Crazy talk. Okay, and then Butter Crunch. That one I'll probably grow. I don't really eat lettuce, but um, I'll probably try and grow it. And then Cardi West Indies Red. I think that's a pepper. Yeah, hot pepper. <laughs> Free hot pepper. I'll take that. All right, so I'm going to try and do this in roughly the same order that we did the MI Gardener one, but we'll see how that goes. All right, so first things first is the herbs and then the flowers. Okay, so um, I am keto and so mostly keto, for off and on, but mostly on, and oftentimes even carnivore. But my sweetener of choice is monk fruit and stevia. So of course, I'm gonna have to try and grow stevia. And then um, also I've recently heard about the benefits of mullen and I have asthma. I've had asthma most of my life since I was about 12. And this is supposed to be really good for lung health. So, and I also smoke for a long time. I don't anymore, but you know, the, uh, the downsides of smoking for so long with asthma are still present. So it, it's supposed to just be good for lung health. And so I got that. And then this stuff, I buy the capsules of it. It helps me to sleep. So all of these are pretty good purposes for you know things that I use that would be something that I could replace so valerian root is supposed to be really good it is not it, was, it is very good for calming you down and helping your brain to kind of just shut down and so that's why I take the capsules they help me fall asleep because I have bad insomnia and for my husband it helps him to stay asleep he falls asleep fine but he can't stay asleep and the slightest sound will wake him up and I'm the total opposite it takes me a long time to fall asleep but once I'm asleep there is nothing you can do to wake me up in real like realistically like good luck uh so anyways got lemon bee balm lemon balm this stuff is amazing I have these blue ones here I think those are blue yeah, these blue ones, they are so pretty. And then they put out these pods. I'm surprised they don't have the pods on here. But these pods are just as pretty as the pictures. And they're just these big pods with these delicious seeds inside there. They taste kind of like, um, I think they're supposed to be, what is it, black black cumin? I think that's what, what, they're, what they're equated to. But they taste kind of like onion seeds. So, and then we got echinacea. Where's the other one? I got two. Oh. They sent me two. Oh, they sent me two purple. Did I order two purple? Don't tell me I ordered two purple. Nope, only one. I guess I just got a couple of doubles, so. Um, apologies, I'm not going to send them back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, free seed. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so I got a free echinacea, and I paid for an echinacea. That's what, that, that explains it. All right. So, and then we also got a yellow echinacea, all for obvious reasons. It's good for immune system and all that kind of fun stuff. And I'm gonna grow it and harvest the roots. So, we got some pretty Popeye, the supreme pop, poppy, not Popeye, poppy, a yarrow, yarrow, got the Colorado mix, a lemon bee balm. There's lemon balm and lemon bee balm. Okay, um, gal, 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 
Gallardia. I really don't know how to pronounce this. Like I'm so new, I don't even know how to pronounce this flower. Okay, so we got Philo, the Sugar Stars Philo, the purple one. Straw flower. I'm so excited. If you guys don't know what straw flower is, my dad grows this every year and they are the coolest thing ever. It's literally, it's like a flower that feels like straw. It's so cool. Okay, so we got the Twinkle Dwarf mix of the Philo. Zinnias, of course. I have a couple different kinds of zinnias, but I didn't have enough. And then this pretty kind of zinnia, Mazurkia. I'm terrible at this, I'm sorry. And I don't actually have a red cabbage. So I got this one, it looked pretty neat. So that's the one I picked. And I got two different kinds of ground cherries. I got Aunt Molly's. And I was just on a live stream with uh, Roots and Refuge and they said that these things are supposed to actually grow into something beyond just like, all I ever get are these little things. So she suggested that I make sure to fertilize them. So I'm gonna do that. And hopefully these will grow into their intended size, which is gigantic and supposed to like almost take up as much of a footprint as a tomato. I've never experienced that. So I'm excited to actually know what I'm supposed to get when I grow that. And so, and then I also got two of the Tamarillos. I don't even know what they are. They just looked awesome and delicious. And it said it was supposed to have a tropical flavor. So I got them and um, we're just gonna see where that takes us. All right, so we got the rad, the root crops here. We got the Szechuan Sesh Red Beauty Radish. I mean, that is gorgeous. And then Oxheart Carrot, that one comes highly recommended from even the Sparrow Homestead. She said that they had a lot of success growing that when they, the other ones that they grew at the same time didn't have much success. So that's why I kind of went with the, the shorter fat carrots was uh, mostly because of, of uh, uh, Jess over there at even the Sparrow Homestead. So, and then we also have this gigantic beet, like that just looked so cool. I could not grow it. Giant yellow Eckendorf beef, beets, like, it doesn't even look like beet. Okay, so on to beans and peas. We got the Chinese red noodle bean. Uh, Lincoln peas. I want to try growing ones that, that we can actually preserve for like long term. Um, I don't really know the difference between like an English pea and like a sweet pea and all that kind of stuff. I still need to learn that. And um, so we're gonna do that. If anybody has the answer to that, let me know. Paul telephone peas. I'm assuming that these are pole beans. That uh, tongues of fire beans. <sighs> Borolato v Borolato d Vigenato Mano. <laughs> that is so terrible. Okay, King Cut purple. I mean, anybody who saw that in the magazine, I'm sure you probably ordered that. And then um, Laxton's Progress number nine. And then these next two, I was kind of surprised that I wanted to get these, but hear me out. A lot of the stuff that I got, I got with the purpose of fermenting later on. So we got two different types of soybeans. I got the soya bean chiba green, and then the uh, Hokkaido, Hokkaido, Hokkaido black. And so these ones I'm going to actually process later on into things like soy sauce and all kinds like natto and just whatever else you use to make soybeans with. I'm not gonna ever, I'm not gonna consume them raw or even cooked. It's just gonna be for fermentation later on. So I'm pretty excited about that. Stay tuned. I hope you guys are as excited about that as I am. Okay, so we're on to the squash and we're almost done. Home stretch here. You got the Kajari melon, obviously. Uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge super want, recommended those, so I had to grow them. And then the Kiku Chrysanthemum melons. Those ones look pretty neat and like little handheld little snacks. And then the loofah melon. Of course, everybody and their mother grew these last year and they were so much fun, so I have, really want to give them a try. And then candy roaster squash, Lakota squash, butternut orange, wall thumb, uh, butternut. We really like butternut squash, especially Robert. He likes the butternut and the, oh, I can't think of the name of it, but we already have all of the seeds for that that we could ever hope to grow anytime soon. So I didn't get that. And then jumbo pink banana. This one says 10 to 40 pounds, but that looks like a lot more than 10 to 40 pounds. Not like, look at that thing, it's huge. 
Okay, Tokyo Blue, Kabucha Squash. This is one of Robert's favorites as well. We actually discovered this one when I went to the, uh, what's it called? To the pumpkin patch a couple years ago and got like a whole car full. And this was one of them and he really, really enjoyed them after that. Okay, so we're on to peppers and then tomatoes. So this is all that's left, we're almost there. Um, Aji, <laughs> I don't even know this one. Uh, the, the thing said that this is the most expensive pepper in the world and I think it's because it's just so rare and it's so teeny and probably just based on, you know, whatever. So, I mean, and it's supposed to be really good for all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to give it a try and see if I like it and I'll let you know if I do. And then the five, uh, Chinese five color, I got it because I just want it to have it look pretty on the, the thing and it's supposed to be a hot melon, hot pepper. So, and then the Buena Malata. I mean, because it's purple. Apocalypse Scorpion, because it's a hot pepper. Cayenne pepper. I go through cayenne uh, pepper, the the dried powder, I go through it like, like it's water. So um, I wanted to have something a little more sustainable. Uh, Ozark Giant Pepper. That was Robert's pick of the sweet peppers. He didn't really care a whole lot about much of the seeds so he kind of just let me do my thing and then I don't know if he actually knew how many seeds I had on my order when I talked to him to let me order it but he didn't ask so I ordered them and then Thai red chili and shishito all right we're on to tomatoes hi so we're on to tomatoes we have the black crim and the principe borghis Blah, whatever and a couple of these are repeats that I have but I don't think I'm gonna mind having repeats of them it was ones that uh, Jess or Anna had sent me and then uh, tomato blueberries pink bumblebee blue cream berries blueberries cosmic eclipse I've grown these ones I can definitely test to these ones are delicious Isis candy cherry Purple Bumblebee, Brad's Atomic Grape. I mean, you can't not grow that with the like two or three pages that they had in the, in the catalog for it. It makes it look pretty darn tasty. And then Sunrise Bumblebee, Napa Chardonnay, and just kind of a nudge to my, my carnivore-ishness, I got the Pork Chop Tomato. So that's it. That is all of the seeds that we have ordered and it is just a giant mess of seeds on my countertop right here. Let me bring you in and show you. So these are all the seeds that we have. This is just insane. So obviously we're not gonna be growing all of these this year, but I am gonna be growing as many as humanly possible. And so it should be a lot of fun. <laughs> I can't even believe how many of these I actually ordered. <sighs> This is going to be a fun year. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy.